these next three formulas we're going to use is going to help you solve for either efficiency if the power factor is known but not the efficiency or solve for the power factor if the efficiency is known but not the power factor and or a combination of both the reason that is important is because you can't just use ohm's law and try to figure out your watts equals e times i and then expect accurate results because motors are not 100 percent efficient so you need to know what the power factor is and what the efficiency is in order to get a proper horsepower rating of that motor when it's operating so for the first formula we're going to say let's pretend like we don't know what the percent efficiency is but we know what the power factor is so we plug that into the equation you end up with the five horsepower times 746 watts divided by 0.91 times 230 volt times 20.72 full load amps you end up with 3730 divided by 4336.696 so we end up with that 0.86% efficiency, which matches our information up here. If you were doing for the power factor, you need to solve for power factor, then you put your efficiency down here. So it's the same concept as above, and you end up with 0.91, which also matches this up here. Now, if you don't know either of them, if you don't know the power factor or the efficiency, then you can solve for it and use this combination factor. So in this case, You'll take the 5 horsepower times 746 watts divided by 230 times your full load amps. You'll end up with the 3,730 divided by 4,765.6. So then your combination factor ends up being 0.782692. If you look above, the combination would just be these two times each other. So you take your 0.91 power factor from above times your 0.86% efficiency. And it equals 7.7826, which is essentially the same as this one. It's a little bit off. But that's how you can solve for both. Because you need to know that information if you're trying to calculate what your motor is actually using for horsepower to get an accurate result. Versus just doing watts equals E times I. And then taking your watts divided by 746. Because each horsepower is 746 watts. You, just, you will not have an accurate result.